Hello everybody and welcome to the hajatabapathology.com uh, and in this month I'm going to share you uh, an interesting case uh, this is a 20 year old male with a, uh, with a leg mass and he of course <laughs> um, tells the history of trauma but this is a slowly growing mass and um, when we look at the microscopy you have these degenerative myxoid areas and they are accompanied by more cellular zones but here again the, the myxoid areas uh, comes to in the area and some uh, areas of hemorrhage and again these spindled cellular zones um, and before going further I'm, I'm going I, I would like to emphasize that the myxoid areas could be seen in any kind of tumor and uh, it's not necessarily uh, seen in the myxoid tumors uh, and when we see the myxoid areas we have to decide whether this tumor is myxoid tumor family or it says myxoid degeneration and it's good um, the, the, the it's good to see other areas uh, and when you assess the other areas and uh, it's important to assess other areas uh, uh, areas other than myxoid zones so here uh, in fact I cannot uh, classify this tumor as a myxoid tumor like myxoid fibrosarcoma or myxoid, um, myxoid liposarcoma because the whole tumor is not myxoid but it only shows the areas of myxoid degeneration so what we have here is we have uh, the, the short fascicles intersecting fascicles and they they look like monotonous and we don't have any pleomorphism we don't have mitotic activity at all we, we maybe we can see some mitosis but the the, the they are quite monotonous and uh, usually lack mitosis and they call this pattern as a school of fish uh, and as you see the, the these short fascicles intersect each other and they look like fish floating into the into the stream and we don't see so so much long fascicles but we, we may see like fibrosarcoma like areas like this you see the herringbone pattern here uh, and the 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 important thing is it's monotonous and we don't see any pleomorphism and of course you can see many uh, different areas some areas may contain collagenous background and and this is this is a kind of tumor like my more fre frequently seen in a younger population extremities of the younger population so uh, morphologically this tumor is consistent with synovial sarcoma so I'm going to uh, show you some stains, which is TLE1, and TLE1 is positive. And when we, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, if I c you talk about the TLE1, it's sensitive, but not that specific, as as you all know. Uh, it's sensitive, so synovial sarcoma should stain with TLE1, but when you have the TLE1 positivity it doesn't mean all 100% uh, it doesn't mean this synovial sarcoma all the time and EMA EMA was positive and EMA is a, again a good marker like sensitive marker for synovial sarcoma here the, it's positive uh, of course this is the the, the 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 maybe the, the least sense is specific marker for synovial sarcoma but it's of use because it's sensitive so we can think about the synovial sarcoma in this tumor again and more specific some keratins like keratin 19 here as you see it's not that um I mean we don't see any diffuse activity but we only see this small uh, 
I mean lonely cells staining with keratin here and there here uh, to here okay and the lastly uh, this is the most um, the uh, the most interesting part of this tumor uh, they they uh, in the outside center they have ordered INI1 so this is um, this is INI1 again we have very nice positive control here and in the endothelium and tumor cells lack INI1 and maybe some of some of the cells may be positive for INI1 as you see here here and there and we know that the synovial sarcomas can show uh, synovial sarcomas can show um, um, mosaic INI1 loss and in um, and very rarely they can also show the complete loss of INI1 as you see in this case but uh, the in this case of course you can also think about the epithelioid sarcoma but in epithelioid sarcoma you will expect more keratin positivity uh, along with um, along with uh, CD34 positivity in half of the cases at least and you will you will also um, I mean these sweeping fascicles or these short fascicles so and a fish a school of fish ap appearance shouldn't be seen in epithelial sarcomas and epithelial sarcomas of classical types also should contain some epithelioid cells uh, synovial sarcoma may also show some epithelioid cells but in a biphasic form especially but here this, this this tumor was deep of course you may you may want to see uh, the molecular confirmation or support on this in this case and um, but it's good thing to know that INI1 may be lost or uh, in mosaic or completely lost in synovial sarcomas thank you very much and have a good time